Hey guys, Average Joe here, and I am back to talk about the PowerBlock USA Elite model of dumbbell, specifically to answer a question that has come up over the past few weeks from a few customers who installed the knurled grips that I make specifically for this model of dumbbell. And uh, th their question was about the fit of this handle or this grip on this handle. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the fit of my grip, the fit of the OEM grip, and how to use washers and O-rings to tailor the fit of your OEM grip or my grip on this handle. So what we have here is a disassembled uh, USA Elite, and this is the metal plate that installs over this recess and it rotates side to side in order to lock these two tubes so that you can slide adder weights into the tubes and then close the tubes and lock them into these uh, tubes while you're working out. And um, the, then when you want to remove the adder weights, you move it to the open position and you can slide out your adder weights from these openings. So, first, let's take a look at the OEM grip used on the USA Elite. It is a steel core and rubber coated. And you'll see, you know, this they come in uh, uh, a little bit different depending on which of the USA Elites you own. They're not all perfectly identical, but they do have steel cores with a rubber or foam rubber coating on them covering. <clears throat> now, when people first remove these, they notice that sometimes there is more steel showing on one end than on the other end. You can see here, it is about half the amount of steel that is poking out on this end. However, as you can see here, this one's flush and it has just a little bit poking out on this end, but further still, these are actually movable um, coverings. So you can slide this uh, covering on the core. You can see here, I just slid it and I can slide it back on again. So. This is not in a fixed position. It actually can move on the steel core. It's a little harder on some to move this. It's not always as easy as you just saw me do it on this one, but they do move on the core. Now, first what we're going to do here is install the deeper end, and then I'll show you what happens when I install this end. But I made a little diagram here. So what we have is this pla uh, gray plastic housing here. This represents the black plate, the locking mechanism. And here is our grip. This distance from the foam to the end of the steel, which I've been calling the shoulder width or shoulder thickness, is this distance here. The longer this distance, uh, it will affect the operation of this metal plate. So let's see how it, it affects the operation. What I'm going to do is attach this uh, longer end with more steel to our handle. Now when I do this, it's going to have a very particular fit. As you'll see momentarily, okay, so I'm going to tighten this down. So now this is fully tight, uh, this grip to this end cap. In the open position, you can see how loose it is. That's natural on most of these handles 
that is how it is. Some of them will be a little more snug and I'll show you in a moment why. But you can see that there is actually a gap between the rubber and the metal plate. So in the open position, there may be some play on your handle. When you lock it into the closed position, this metal plate is bending backward out away from this plastic housing. And when it does that, it comes into contact with the rubber. There's no more gap and it's nice and firm. And so it's locked into place firmly. And again, when you move it to the open position, it is now, uh, you know, it has a rattle to it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to reduce that gap to change the way that this plate uh, moves in the handle. There are multiple ways to do that. One way is through the use of washers or O-rings. And another way is to flip this grip 180 degrees and use the smaller end here. And we're going to do that first. So let me take this off. And uh, we're going to flip this grip around 180 degrees. And I'll show you what happens. Okay, so we're just going to rotate the grip 180 and reinstall it on our dumbbell. Now, when we do that, what we've done is we have decreased this distance. We've narrowed this distance. Okay, so I'm going to tighten this. And now, there's no gap. Okay? Now, this doesn't rattle in the open position. And you can still close it, but it's going to be much more firm when you close it because the rubber is contacting this metal plate more tightly. It's closer to the plate. So, just by flipping this grip 180 degrees, we were able to uh, keep this from rattling. Now, your dumbbell may have been installed uh, or assembled at the factory in this configuration, such that this rubber is closer to the metal and you don't have the rattle straight out of the box, brand new, you may not have that. Not everybody has it. But for those of you who do have it, that is one way to stop this from rattling in the open position. Now, I don't recommend working out with this in the open position. Get in the habit of closing it. You want to make sure that you always lift this handle out of the base with this in the closed position. That way, no matter if you have anything in here or not, you're always sure that it's locked and that nothing will slide in here regardless. So it's just a good habit to get into. Don't work out with this in the uh, open position. So the other way to eliminate that play is to use a washer or an O-ring. So now let's do that. What we're going to do is we're going to put a simple O-ring on the side that's much deeper. This is the side that rattled before. We're going to add an O-ring to that end. Now, what type of O-ring? The inner diameter has to be about 22 to 23 millimeters, which is about a 7 eighths inch inner diameter. The thickness about 1 to 1.5 millimeters. There is an actual O-ring when you go to the local hardware store. It's called a number 32 that has these dimensions. So, you know, this is a number 32 O-ring. You can also 
use any old grip and cut a washer from the grip if you don't want to go buy an o-ring so i basically ran an exacto knife around this grip and i cut a one millimeter washer so this would work too okay either way will work fine but you may not have this or you may not you know have an extra grip the way that i do and in which case the o-rings will make more sense for you so um, what we're going to do is now reinstall this grip on our dumbbell handle and the o-ring just takes up the gap it, it fills the gap that was there before so it works basically the same as flipping your your um, handle around your grip sorry about the shaky camera i've got it on a loose mount but uh, okay, so now we've tightened this <clears throat> all the way. And once again, we've filled that gap. So now it is not uh, rattling in the open position and it firmly locks in the closed position. So an O-ring works as well too. Now, why is this important? Well, when you're dealing with a solid steel grip versus, you know, a grip that has a sleeve that you can actually move on the grip, these are all fixed dimensions. We cannot change these dimensions. And <clears throat> I need to make this thickness, this width, enough that it fits with all the USA elites not just some so I gave it a little bit extra thickness now on my particular handle it works fine I'll show you but not everybody has the same exact handle the way that they were assembled at the factory the way that this plastic is molded will affect fit for your your grips whether your grips are OEM or mine so first let's put my grip on with no o-ring or anything like that and uh, we'll check the fit of this assembly Okay, now we snug this up. Okay, so on my handle in the closed position, there's no play. In the open position, there's play just like on some of the OEM. And again, it's because I need to leave a little bit of a gap here in order for this handle to bend over these little bumps and go into the closed position and back into the open position. However, some of the customers who installed my grips discovered that in the closed position, they were getting a rattle. So let me simulate that for you here. I'm going to loosen this a little bit. So they were finding that they would go into the closed position and still have a little bit of a of a rattle like this if you install my grip and your usa elite rattles in the closed position the fix is simple Take your grip off.
and do one of two things. Either get yourself a number 32 O-ring, two of them, if both of your handles are doing it. Sometimes one handle does it, the other handle doesn't do it. Whatever your situation, get yourself either a number 32 O-ring or cut an O-ring about one millimeter thick from your OEM grip. Just like I showed you earlier by cutting it and just peel this off and you'll make yourself a washer. Either way, we can use these on here. So I'm gonna use this because for a lot of you, this might be the easier thing if you don't want to cut yourself a washer. Put your um, uh, O-ring on the end and make sure, by the way, that it is the longer end. Don't use this shorter end because remember, there's no flex in this steel. This is not a foam rubber covering. There will be no flex in this. So don't use the short end. Put your O-ring on the long end. Then reinstall your grip. And what's going to happen is that O-ring is going to fill the gap that exists on some of these uh, USA Elites. One sec here. There we go. Okay, so now we snug this up and we have an O-ring now in there between this grip and here. Now, a couple things. One, no more play, just like OEM, right? Uh, no more play here. And when you move to the locked position, it is firmly in place in the locked position. Just by simply adding a thin o-ring to the end of your grip problem solved so just keep that in mind if you're uh, going to install my grips on your usa elite if it worked like mine and there was you know um, uh, everything locked properly without an o-ring then you're good to go if you find that there's more play add an O-ring or add your own self-cut washer. And again, you're good to go. Uh, so that's it, guys. Uh, you know, this, I would say maybe 5% of the uh, customers who have upgraded to my grips have had this issue where the um, uh, locking mechanism was more loose than expected after the uh, grip was installed. But the solution is as simple as that. And if you want to put a little lubricant or, uh, you know, like uh, silicone uh, dry lubricant on here, it, there's no harm in that. Make sure when you're done and you're bolting things together to use thread lock on these, uh, on these bolts. Definitely put a dab of thread lock on these threads. You don't want these things loosening up over time now that you've taken it apart and put it back together again. Uh, so that's it, guys. I hope you found this helpful. If you own a USA Elite model and you're considering uh, upgrading to the 30, 35, or 40 uh, millimeter grips, this is how you do it. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. And uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.